Hi, hi everyone. I hope you're having a great Science Alive today. My name is Keen Prather and I am a grad student at the University of Notre Dame and part of the Sway Lab. I am, my, I am my third year here at Notre Dame and I originally am from Kansas and then moved out here to get a degree in chemistry. Uh, the research I do is focusing on nanoparticles and their applications in energy. And so today, a couple of my friends, a couple of my lab mates want to do some demonstrations. For right. So today, my lab mates and I will be showing some demonstrations of different energy-related reactions. And so before we get into the videos, we wanted just to give a quick minute of a lesson to kind of explain some of the terms we'll be using. So you might hear us use some words like reduction or oxidation. And so reduction means a, a, a molecule, a compound, is gaining an electron. Whereas oxidation is the opposite, it's where an electron is leaving the molecule. And so sometimes, sometimes we use those words together, where it's a reduction in oxidation, where one element or one compound is losing an electron and it's going to another one, and we call that a redox reaction. Okay, so some signs of redox reactions include color change, so turning from clear to blue or green, uh, changing in states of matter, so going from a liquid to a solid, and some other redox reactions also give off light, so they might glow in the dark or do different things like that. So pay attention to our reactions today and maybe you'll notice some of those different signs of a redox event. Hope you enjoy our videos. Hi guys, I'm Maddie and I'm a second year grad student in the Sway Lab and a lab mate of Keaton's and I'm going to show you guys some of the redox reactions. Have fun! In this reaction, silver and copper, which both really like to do redox reactions. So we're going to start with a copper wire and a solution of a compound called silver nitrate that is dissolved in water. The silver in the solution will take one electron from copper, reducing the silver into its solid state. And then the copper is going to give up two electrons to fully oxidize. So it takes two atoms of silver to oxidize one atom of copper fully. When the copper has been fully oxidized, it will dissolve into solution. So here we have our copper wires and we're pouring in our solution of silver nitrate. And as you can see, the copper wire is already changing color. And now we see some crystals forming on the copper wire. This is the reduced solid silver. And the solution is starting to turn a green color, which is caused by the oxidized copper. So this reaction is pretty cool. We have a compound called luminol, which when you mix it with bleach, you get a pretty cool indication that a chemical reaction is occurring. So Keaton's going to pour the luminol into the bleach. We're going to turn off the lights and what do we see? A really cool blue light. This kind of light is called a fluorescence and as we slowly end the pour, you will see that the light slowly starts to dim and does not continue. The luminol in this reaction is getting oxidized by bleach to form a new compound called 3-amino phthalic acid. This is actually a pretty complicated reaction that's occurring. The light we see is actually caused by electrons releasing energy. Electrons like to be at what is called their ground state. And if they have gone into what is called their excited state, they will want to relax by giving off energy, which we see as light. A common place where we can see the same sort of energy is with glow-in-the-dark objects. 
So when you shine a light on a glow-in-the-dark object, then put it in the dark, the light we see is actually energy being given off by electrons as they relax back down to their ground state. So with that in mind, what we see in this reaction is when the three amino phthalic acid is formed, it's actually at its excited state. And so the blue light is formed by the electrons relaxing down to their ground state and giving off energy. Thanks so much for watching our video on redox reactions. If you have any questions about the reactions that you saw today, feel free to email me, Madeline Riffle, or Keaton Prather, the hands of the videos, at the emails given above. From ND Energy and everybody at the Sway Lab, we hope you guys have a fun 2021 virtual Science Alive Fair.